In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. And now we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of the peace of Christ. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this meal. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. With those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer for the sick. O oh my God, give me the grace of patience in my suffering and of submission to your holy will. I offer this illness in reparation for my sins and the sins of the world. I unite myself with the bitter sufferings and death of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
As I mentioned during the prayers for the, uh, for the faithful, Father Leo Campbell, a Brazilian priest, uh, died suddenly on Thursday night. Father Campbell was born and raised in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, and had been ordained a Brazilian priest since June 15, 1974. Uh, Leo was a high school teacher, a parish priest, principal at several Brazilian schools, including uh, St. Michael's College School here in Toronto. Uh, he was known as a very fun man, always had a joke, and a very good priest, and he will be sorely missed. He's been a celebrant here on the Daily Mass for most of the last 10 years. May he rest in peace. And let us pray. And Lord, may the word we share be our guide to peace in your kingdom. May the Eucharist we receive assure us of your constant love. And we make these prayers in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, also with you. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you very much. Our thanks to several donors, the first an anonymous donor from Kingston, Ontario, the second a parishioner from St. Gabriel's Church in Burlington, Ontario, the third is Mrs. Patricia Rickard from London, Ontario, and the fourth is Phyllis Gautier from Etobicoke, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Monsignor Bianco, Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Donovan, Father Fitzpatrick, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend. We'll be looking for you all again on Monday.